Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a lip swatch video and it's going to be on the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. I got them at Ulta for $9 when they were having their 21 days of beauty sale. I was only going to get one lipstick but then I was thinking to myself maybe I like them and then they're more expensive, you know? But then I was also looking at YouTube videos uh, for reference and stuff but a lot of people don't have my same skin tone and maybe it looks good on them but it might not look the same on me so that's what I was a little nervous about but it's okay because I heard a lot of good things about these liquid lipsticks and I got four I have campfire Monday's brick and cork and the reason why I even was considering these liquid lipsticks was for brick oh my goodness I bought mine the day before at 10 p.m. Just by coincidence because I was looking at YouTube videos and also I was on the website because I was adding things on my cards just in case, you know. An extra little push when it comes to lipsticks, that's my weakness. I saw that they were $9 at 10 and I'm like, is this for reals? So um, I was going to wait until the next day but good thing I didn't because they were sold out. A lot of people were angry because by 11 they were sold out like most of them were sold out I was gonna wait until the next day just in case because sometimes I need to sleep on things like I get excited and then I buy things and then I'm like why did I do that <laughs> the packaging looks like this um, they all look the same except it depends on the color that you got uh, so this is campfire and the box looks like this it's pretty simple kind of reminds me of the Smashbox liquid lipstick. The packaging looks like this and it says those of colors right there and on the bottom it says the color of the shade and a white cap. <laughs> I always thought that it was like a glass tube but it feels soft like it's soft touch but not super soft like I want to bite it. Just in case you guys were curious this is cruelty free, gluten free, paraben free and it's vegan. I already prepped my lips on the website I recommended for you to prep your lips by exfoliating and not eating oily foods. I already exfoliated my lips with a lip exfoliator by e.l.f. and also aloe vera. This is Herbalife um, soothing gel. So that's what I did and then I added chapstick. I never tried these liquid lipsticks before so this is like a first impressions and a swatch video so let's get on to the video. like the lip swatches and hopefully they were not that sloppy because it got a little messy <laughs> honestly I think the formula is really good it's the first impressions obviously I don't know how they wear and stuff but I will leave that down below like on the description box this is campfire this is cork this is Monday's Monday's right here this is brick yeah just like my lip swatches these are also sloppy <laughs> So this is the one that I'm wearing right now. I like all the colors, but the only one that I'm not super crazy about is Campfire. It's pretty and it's a coral, but it's neon. It's too neon on my skin tone. And it's a pretty color and, you know, like it's not my favorite. But my favorite one is Mondays, which is crazy to me because I was not expecting to like Mondays at all because it's a mauve it's a mauve you guys 
I don't like mauve. I don't like mauves on me. But I think it's because this one is more of like a red mauve than a purple mauve. And I've noticed that the purple mauves look weird on me. I don't like them. And another one that I like is the cork. This is this one. Which I had the sugar brown from Kylie Cosmetics. And I did not like that one at all. But I like this one. <laughs> and brick. I like brick. Is this one the one I'm wearing right now? And I was hoping it would look like the packaging because it's pretty but it's too dark um, and I like this color on the tube. So I was hoping it wasn't that dark but it's a brick red, you know? I'm still looking for the perfect red brick shade. Not dark brown red but more of like a rusty red. That's my favorite. And I still haven't found it and it's crazy to me because I have so many red lipsticks that why don't I have the one I want? Actually, I did find one that I really like, but the formula is not the best. It's from the drugstore and it's from Rimmel. It's Heartbreaker. So this is the color that I was hoping. Do you guys see how it looks so similar, but it's so dark? <laughs> um, so I was hoping it was going to be like this red because this is a beautiful rusty red and something else that I've noticed is the applicator do you guys see that it's like scoopy it hugs your lips I've never understood when people used to say oh this wand hugs your lips it's like how how <laughs> but it really does it holds your lips it doesn't hug them <laughs> it holds your lips and it coats them and it's beautiful and the swatches and it releases pigment and it's just like awesome and I think that they are worth the money even though you don't get them on sale anymore maybe they will be a sale next time um, I still think that $18 is not bad considering they're really comfortable and they're not drying at all they're very comfortable it's crazy because the other one that I kind of like feel like it's kind of the same consistency same feeling same formula is Tarte lip paints. I mean, I did get a sample size, but I'm assuming that it's the same product. Yeah, that one is very comfortable. Something else with the campfire, it, it was like a little sticky. Maybe I applied too much product, but I even show you guys on the video that it was like sticky and it was like weird. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Explore. Explore. <laughs> explore. I can't say it anymore. Exfoliator. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. The swatch video. Swatch. Swatch. And the and the. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ew. <laughs>like the lip swatches and I didn't expect to like this as much as I do because this is more like a moss moss <laughs> and I, uh.